Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So a few weeks ago I went to the Foxton Ham Rally with uh, Tim and the Cube. So many thanks to Tim for taking us up there. I picked a few items up and one of them I'm just getting around to have a look at now. And I picked up this Acer L410 computer. And I got the computer and the power supply. I've no idea how this thing works. We'll take a close look, we'll fire it up. But the price I pay for it, I'm not really going to argue if it doesn't work. It cost me a crown total of a pound. This machine was one pound. So we're going to see in this video, does this one pound computer actually work? So we'll take a close look and then I'll apply some power to it and see what happens. Will it emit the magic smoke or will it work? Let's find out. So front of the machine, we've got a couple of USB. You've got an earphone and microphone socket. Your power switch there. Your slot load and drive, fingers crossed that's a um, DVD burner, not just a CD writer and DVD player. Stickers on the front here, it says AMD or ATI Radeon, AMD Athlon Times 2 and Windows Vista. Yeah, it's a Vista improvement sim to Apple. If it's on there, that's coming straight off if this thing works. On the back, a couple of USB there, another four. So it's got eight USB, so it's quite well specced. Power socket, your Kensington lock socket. Ethernet, a DVI, but I haven't got a DVI monitor, so I've got to use an adapter. And you've got your surround sound there, I think it's 5.1. Spidiff, Sony and Philips digital interface. A lot of fans that it could do with a good old clean. And just nothing on the top. So let's find out if this thing works. So will it power up or will it emit the magic smoke? So I'll clear it all up and then we'll do a, a power on test and see what happens. So I've plugged in the monitor, plugged in the computer. I've connected the mouse, I've connected the keyboard, let's give it a, some power and find out will it emit a magic smoke or will it turn on and give us a screen. So the power lights come on, that's a good sign. I've just heard the PC speaker beep. Hey look at that we got a screen. Booting from CD, well it can't boot from CD, there isn't a CD now I don't think. And if it's running Vista, it's coming straight off. Nope, it's running Linux it's Mint. I'm still going to have to reinstall Mint because it's going to be a password. Hopefully there won't be a login screen. If there is a login screen, then uh, I'll have to use the old live CD to get around, the, uh, to get around it, see what's on the hard drive, and then do a reinstall. But let's have a look. Okay, we've got uh, an arrow. Is it movable? Yes, it is. Focus. And it says, Cinnamon just crashed. You are currently running in fullback mode. Do you want to restart Cinnamon? No, we don't. So it's running Linux Mint 18 Serena 64-bit Cinnamon. So let's have a look at its spec, if we can find the spec. Menu. Control Center. Scroll wheel works, beauty, system info. And it's running a uh, AMD 64 times 2 dual core, 4 gig of RAM, which says 3.6, but it's probably got uh, sharing stuff with the graphics card. And you've got a 3.37 gig hard drive, so it might be 320 gig. And graphics card is an ATI Radeon X1200 uh, VGA controller. AMD straight ATI, so yeah, so far so good. Anything on the hard drive, let's have a look. Documents, nothing. Downloads, nothing. Music, nothing. Pictures, nothing. Public, nothing. And templates, nothing. And last but not least, videos. There is nothing, so there's nothing on the hard drive. I'm still going to have to do a reinstall of it though, because I want to put my own password on there, so I can reinstall stuff. Come on, focus. That's better, it's focused. So there we go, the one pound PC, and it's a working winner winner chicken dinner. Now, no real way of capturing it, I just had to point the camera to the screen, um, and it kept going out of focus, so sorry about that. Nothing I could have, could have done with that, but for the one pound PC, it's working a treat. So, what am I using it for? I'm going to. That one there. Oh, well, maybe it's just effect a screensaver. Um, what am I going to use it for? I'm going to use it probably for a open source emulator, so a retro gaming machine. Use it to pass it with some ROMs, use it to play 
um, Mega Drive stuff, my system games, that sort of thing. And uh, who knows, I could use it for my ham radio software. Use it to program radios and use it for FT8 because it's got the old uh, uh, line in on the front there. So hopefully the next video, or if the next video comes up, lights ham radio, you never know, I could be recording this on the £1 PC. Should, should take the recording software and the uh, Snowball microphone. So I'm going to reinstall Linux and have a little play with it. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you to all my new subscribers, 73s, this is 2E0, IQJ. On pound PC, it worked a treat. Bargain. Catch you later.